Sunshine. Yo, Wagwan people into webs. It's that guy, not locks, not nation. I'm coming with you today. Another video on a dreadlock footballer. Um, so make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is not nation. Yo, 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 yo. It's been a while, been a minute, been busy, but I'm getting back into the flow of things on this channel, not nation, where we review dreadlocks and sorts in the culture. Also do vapors, vapor and cannabis culture here as well on the channel. 420 every day around here, light up, smoke up, vape up, and we're talking about dreadlocks today. Uh, yo, firstly, I want to shout out to the to the new subscribers here to the channel. Uh, Goliath Power, Nelson Flores, uh, all the way down to um, Truly Charges and Lettuces and Stela and Cactusana, regular guy. Shout out to all those. Um, today we're actually looking at Moist keen what's happening here whatever um today we're looking at <clears throat> moist keen uh moist keen biotti italian professional footballer who plays forward for serie a club juventus and the Ita italy national team the italy national team italy <laughs> the italy national team he started his career with Juventus in 2016, winning a domestic double in his first season. Born year 2000, Y2K, age 19, from Vercelli, Italy. Yo, this guy's dreads actually gonna be looking uh, pretty cool here. Now, what I'm noticing about this dude's hair to begin with is he kinda had it straightened at first. And um, to get your hair straight like this, you want to use the relaxers. Um, not always the best and the mo not always like the healthiest way to be treating your hair. So definitely happy to see a moist here. Moist. It's almost like moist. <laughs> definitely happy to see him growing some locks in the game today. Now, his dreads uh, at this stage, definitely very cylindrical, very high topped. Um, as we look further, we're going to be able to see exactly what he's been doing with his hair to kind of get it like this. At first glance, it kind of looks like his hair has been like crocheted or twisted into play. Um, he does have some uh, blunted tips. He does have some bleach blonde on the tips as well. Um, it does make for a pretty cool look. High top being widely popular these days. And I feel that it would be the best suited for like football players, soccer players, because um, it allows your hair to breathe in the sides. They're not long and in your way and down in your face. So they're not really a, a hazard at all to his uh, professional career. Um, but definitely going with the high top and a very very popular look these days with the high top dreads uh this photo here kind of showing us some length that he's been dealing with um obviously he's very sweaty playing the game when you do sweat with dreadlocks it is best to to rinse out the sweat afterwards using just cold water you don't really need shampoo just some cold water if you can't get your hair under the tap or the shower head uh, even a spray bottle with some water sprayed down to your scalp and you can wipe it out with a microfiber towel. It usually works pretty well. Um, some shots of Moist Keen's hair before the locks. And he actually had a bunch of blonde hair on the top of his head before he went with the locking process. Pretty unique look. I actually kind of like it. It would have been cool to see the dreads come from this to show like a little bit of bleach in there. Uh, this does look like a different dye job than the latcher. Uh, and he's even got enough length to be braiding his dreads into braid locks already. So he must be at least a few years in on his dread journey at this point. Because to be able to get braids like this with such short hair, uh, it does take a few years of growth. Uh, obviously, he's going to have to have somebody braid his hair for him like this. Uh, not saying it's impossible to do it by yourself, but it would take a lot of work. Most people don't really want to put in the patience for that. 
but you can see that his hair uh, braided back on the top and loosely at the back kind of like a half braid out and he's even got some green mixed in with his bleach blonde tips at this point and his tips here are very crocheted very blunted uh, and his new growth actually pretty lengthy about an inch there so he's not getting no twists or interlocks right down to the root um, definitely some signs of a healthy journey as well um, I mean besides the dye that he's been using a lot uh, he is doing it pretty minimal now this hair looks hairstyle here actually looks like it might have been started with a dread sponge at this point so I mean there's a few options that he could have he could have went with and here's a picture of his dreads from the back and I'm surprised at like how cylindrical and how symmetrical all his dreadlocks are and uh, he's more of a of a high uh, not a high top but he's actually more of like a faux hawk type of hairstyle because he does have the dreads on the nape of his neck still it's always funny the way they make dreads in video games this one here being very flat and unrealistic <laughs> and and this color scheme here this color scheme does remind me of uh, Migos's when Offset kind of went with that turquoise teal kind of look. But it is interesting to see where Moise has come from in the beginnings of this dreadlock journey. Uh, if I put Moise Keen Instagram, just take a little picture. Oh, just get to Seeing where he's at today, and he's still got the long braid locks going on here. Rocking with the green and yellow tips on his dread still, rocking the faux hawk. Flipping his hair back actually makes for really cool photos. You see people doing this like in the water, flipping their hair back for that Instagram shot. Um, I suggest people try this with their dreads and like flip them back and take some photos and just see what kind of positions you can get them locked up in in the air. Um, pretty cool look, pretty cool. All suited up, dreadlocks with the um, the formal attire, braid locks. It's like a half braid lock do in effect. And just a closer shot of the braid locks here. Uh, we can actually see that uh, there's a little bit of frizzy hair going on up here. Freshly tapered down shaved sides. And with the hoodie on, now hoodies and dreads are typically very hard to go hand in hand. You can kind of see the stretching here that's happening. Now luckily his, his dreads are pretty short. So uh, dreadlock, I mean sorry, so since his dreadlocks are very short, hoods will fit a lot easier on his head but when you start getting lengthier dreads like mine like you got to really watch out what kind of hoodies that you wear because they don't always fit like you think they would to be honest they don't always fit there like you think they would so uh, here's a cool picture when his dreads were shorter headphones and dreads um not to worry they're not going to ruin your locks they actually enhance the growth more than anything in those areas because of the friction it's almost like a towel rub happening with that headband strap uh, this one actually pretty cool picture he's got a little bit of blue dyed here at the front dreads may be comb coiled at this point they're looking like really perfected and uh Pretty much sick how he can balance the ball. So good. And the early stages of his locks. Full hawk look. Not the high top look, but it is the full hawk look. I like it better than the high top. And definitely the very earliest stages of his dreads right there. So I definitely appreciate you guys stopping by and liking and smashing that subscribe button on this channel. Uh, a lot more videos to come, a lot more dreadlock reviews as always. Uh, dreadlock updates on my own hair and vaporizer reviews um, all the time. Um, head on over to the Not Nation shop. Check out the merch there. We got hats, t-shirts, hoodies, whatnot. 
and uh yeah support your local dread i'll see you guys next time peace out one love stay happy and nazi and i'll see you in the next dreadlock update adios Didn't you shine?